What concerns you most about the issues that plague our society today? And how can we tackle these issues? Um, I think there's a lot of unknowns floating around right now um, and uncertainty can definitely feel uneasy. Um, but I think listening to educated officials and stuff is always helpful. Um, yeah, and same thing, I think community does a lot to support one another through these very hard times. Um, I guess if it's like, um, depending on the issue, I guess like for COVID-19, um, we should like uh, focus on like the regulations and then respect um, all the laws that are and policies that are out there and also just to cooperate really well and to communicate um, like social distance and then like mask. I think that's like an example of like how to keep um, our society more safe and secure and stuff like that. I just think we just have to reach out to each other and work together on them and speak up on the different issues that are important to us and uh, just don't, don't give up on society. We can make a difference ourselves and we just need to reach out to everybody else so we can all have this collective effect together as well. I don't feel good about the conflict in Ukraine these days. Because what happened is that, like, since Second World War, we've been pretty much all right. We had the longest peace we ever had in the history of Western world, perhaps. And so what the Russian president nowadays does is that he threatens this peaceful time. And so what might be the consequence is that the Western world will have to go into the arms race again and therefore focus funding and the overall focus on you know, guns and arms instead of the real issues such as environment and you know, saving the planet. Yeah, this is what concerns me these days. Um, I was talking about this a few days ago actually with a friend regarding LGBTQ and what's been happening. Because I know in India, like people are pretty much getting killed for coming out like as on any spectrum and I think that's something that needs to be solved and I do know like as a person who is Indian that the Prime Minister isn't willing to do anything at this time and that's really dangerous because there are lives at stake not only because of COVID-19 like literally killing hundreds of people but just because that's also something that people have to keep within them and that's really detrimental to mental health as well. Has the pandemic made you feel exhausted? If so, are there any things that have helped you feel restored? Oh, yeah, definitely like the pandemic has made me like, I think it's it's difficult to just like um, find a balance between like, you know, school and then, cause like during the pandemic, I'm always at home and then I have to do like both school and then, you know, cause I always feel like home is where I, it's the place where I can relax, but now I need to do both. So it's kind of hard for me, yeah. Um, I would say yes, the like pandemic has definitely made me feel exhausted, just like because of the pace of like things naturally moving along and just like the place that I'm at right now. But I guess how like I restore myself is usually just like me time, just like I guess like the whole thing with like self care. But other than that, it would just be like being on my phone, TikTok, whatever. And I wouldn't really call it restore, it's just like, me wasting time because you know it's just like my own time rather than you know, like always being on the run trying to focus on school internships or like whatever the assignment is that's like how I would like you know rejuvenate myself no no uh, me i'm not the great example of suffering from pandemic because i traveled the world during pandemic because you know the tickets were suddenly cheap you know you take covid test and uh with mates, we flew to Central America, and yeah, so I'm not the greatest example. Uh, yes, this pandemic has made me feel very exhausted. Um, things that have made me feel restored is just like hanging out with friends and making a community where I feel comfortable and where I can be myself.